or good evening, depending on when you watch this. Uh, how y'all been? I've been alright. Another day in paradise. Still need to work on this damn bridge. Let's see how far we got. So. I was told uh, recently that I've changed. And by recently, I mean today. I was told I really have changed uh, from what they've seen of me since the last time we talked. And I'm not here to just say, like, I don't see it, but. Maybe they're right. Uh, ever since doing this, maybe I have changed. Or maybe I'm just taking the stress-free, or the stress relief stuff again. So it's making my mind a bit less clouded. And a bit less worrisome. Because I know my mind on default, it tends to just get fearful and worry about the future. I think I'm always going to worry about the future some, somehow. I'll find an excuse to worry about it or something like that. Because right now it's just hard to say. As a guy, you're relegated to kind of figuring out what's gonna, what you're gonna do the rest of your life. Like, that's just you on default as a guy. That's what you have to figure out, or else you pretty much die. Not that you die for no reason, or for no reason at all, but that kind of is how it is sometimes as a guy. And that's what I realize. I don't want to live most of my life just to kind of, I don't know. Like, we all make fun of business owners. We all make fun of um, Jeff Bezos, but they're set. Guys like me. I know I wanted to do this my whole life. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm working on a new song, but it's not done yet. And I might just release a music video for once. Uh, just because I need to do something different. And... I don't know. I was listening to a podcast too, and <clears throat> like I'm realizing that Zoomers and everyone after we got kind of messed messed up, or we got kind of fucked over, like really badly, because. We, all we know is the crises going on in the world. Like, we were born, we were raised up with, like, 9-11. Well, not really 9-11, but the Great Recession and all that. Like, it's all we know is crisis. And we're the complete polar opposite of the boomers at that point. I'm trying to make it not matter so much about all that, but I don't know. I feel better about it all now, though. And it's not our fault. And 
I'm feeling a lot better recently about everything. About how everything turned out. And uh, right now I'm doing with like a rumor going around at my workplace. It's a fake one, but it's stopping people from really helping me. Or not helping me, but even just saying hi to me because they all think I'm a creep now. And for those of you that watched the six months, the worst six months of my life, those of you that watched that video, it's a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's that same situation because I don't even know half of it, but like I'd say it's pretty much a repetition of that same situation at this point. But you know what? I've already been through that arc once and I know there's nothing I can really do to convince anyone. And so I'm not going to. Because, you know what, if they don't want to, if they want to believe a rumor so bad, then that's on them. But I know where I stand now. And I know that everything I do is never like that, you know. Anything can be construed as creepy nowadays, but I know the rumors they are saying about me is just wrong. Actually, hold on. Let me take one of these. I'm going to replace them. Take one of these too. Take one of these. these four Anyways, while that was happening, let me tell you about... Oh, my God. So there's this guy, right, that... That's, like, kind of... Kind of dorky white guy weird, or whatever. And pretty much... I, I don't know what's up with this kid. But... He was just being annoying. And, uh... Why is this not moving? No, no, no! Uh, he saw me eating alone at lunch one day. Uh, him and another guy. But the other guy, like, is kinda cool. So they saw me eating alone at lunch. And, uh, he was wearing... That same day, he was wearing I paused my game to be here shirt. Like, it wasn't even, like, the one with the Xbox controller. It was just, like, a, like, straight-faced. I paused my game to be here. And then I was like, dude, what are you wearing? Like, why are you wearing that? He said, what? What's wrong with my shirt, huh? Like, what? The boss says, like, he liked my shirt, blah, blah, blah. Like, when I was walking in, he said he liked my shirt. And I'm like, dude. Take <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Don't sit with me again if you go away. <laughs> Pause my game to be here. And then he had a fucking... And then he brought his Switch out. And then he... He was playing on Switch. Because the new Zelda came out. And I'm like, oh my god, dude. <sighs> that day was pretty weird. I feel like I've 
had a whole arc since the last video, really. Um, not even since the last video, since I started doing this. Because I was not seen with my friends at the table. Just because I, I feel like I didn't know who my friends really were. Because, like, rumor got around. And I didn't know who to trust. And I didn't know what the hell was going on, really. And, uh, yeah. I, I don't even know at this point. Like, what? Why everyone truly is avoiding me. And I thought, I don't know, maybe my friends had something to do with it. Or maybe they, they're spreading something that they don't want to tell me they were. And I don't know. I'm just, just kind of sick of the job I do right now. I know I do everything, but I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I really just got to leave California right now. I was, here's the thing. I was driving to get food today. Like at, I think it wasn't even that late. It was like 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. I was going to get some food, so I went to like El Pollo Loco or whatever. But on the way there, not even on the way there, on the way back home, I'm getting like a El Pollo Loco, the birria burrito combo or whatever they had. It was actually pretty good. I was surprised. They make that pretty good, the birria burrito combo. But on the way back, there was some crackhead junkie like walking in the back bike lane but he was walking the opposite direction and the thing is too he was walking like on the line inside the bike lane which means inside the road on the line so like anyone who wasn't paying attention would have just decked that dude like right then and there like he was really inside the road and every not everyone, but like, I think a car before me passed him just swerved away. But then I saw him just like, holy shit, this guy is way too close. And like, I honked at him because like, I had to stop because I don't know what the hell the guy's doing. So I was going. And I kept going. I kept going. I make a right turn down the other street uh, that connects that like is almost near my house. And, uh. I'm going down that street, then there's an intersection, and on that intersection, uh, I see another guy just fling, flaming his arms up, like wearing like a really dirty white dress shirt and uh, cargo pants, with like obviously like homeless hair, uh, very dirty, and he was just flaming his arms up and then like all of a sudden started moonwalking, but, like, not a good moonwalk, like, a very bad one that, like, crackheads do. And I'm realizing what the hell is going on to my own city. And I live near Los Angeles, but, like, it's bleeding here. Like, it's getting bad. And... I think I'm just realizing I need to get the hell out of here before this does turn into Los Angeles. Before I do end up like having to deal with these crackheads every day. And my current job, I'd say I'd be there. I thought I'd be there. I thought <laughs> I thought I'd be there for about a year, build up wealth, then transfer, use half of that. To transfer to another place so I can finally like make progress in a state of life that it's kind of impossible to make progress with because here in California we can't buy a fucking house no no freaking way I mean sure you know that just should add to my grind set but when the grind sets 
so absurdly high. Or like when you want to pretty much make a product out of master classes. It's not, I don't trust that. And I don't want to, when I do something, I want to get paid. I don't want to just sell an idea and then hope that idea becomes something. Because then what the hell am I going to do if it doesn't work out? And I don't even get TikTok at this point. I make the shorts on YouTube, yeah. That's one thing. I should probably upload them on TikTok too. But I don't know. I hate the whole shorts thing. I hate the whole TikTok thing. Even on the shorts, people only, I was looking at the percentages, people only watch 10% of the shorts. And the shorts are like at most one minute. So they can only really watch 10 seconds of that one minute before clicking off. They can't even just watch one minute. And it's... I think uh, there is a downward trend. And that downward trend uh, wants all of us to be swept into it, but I... It's not going to be me. And I can still sit there. I can sit for hours on end without looking at my phone. I could, I could, yeah. You know. But I feel like not everyone really likes to live in that moment anymore. No one really likes to just put their phone on the side, put their phone in their pocket while they're eating dinner with their friends or something. While they're just watching TV with their friends. Even playing like CSGO, like some lobbies, like guys are just, I don't know, swiping on Tinder while they're dead, not even telling us what's going on. It's like, uh... I'm trying to make sense of it all. I realize I can't, and it's not even important if I do, because I don't know, because this almost feels like the same arc as the the six months, the worst six months of my life, like it almost feels like the same arc but I'm just ready for it this time. Or I'm just handling it better. Which would be obvious, sure, but... I don't know. Like, there's a time. I was coming to work every day. I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I know that... Who's the other person that thinks that I'm a creep? I don't even know. It's a... Uh, it's a weird feeling going to work like that. And I'm a guy, I can take it, but... I don't know, maybe this is just a push. From, hopefully, God. That... This should be it. That this should be the final push of me getting out of here. Two crackheads in one night. Like, I never used to see one. Ever. I would see homeless, sure. You know, homeless are homeless, but not all of them are homeless crackheads. They're not. I saw homeless people, but they weren't like this. You know, the homeless people before, they at least, like, I don't even know. 
There was one homeless couple I once encountered. I think I was about 16, 17, or 15, 16. But I, like all the time, I would just ride my skateboard throughout the whole city. Uh, well, I was 15, 16 years old. And I think it was one night where it was during fall break or something. And uh, I was riding. It was like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, the sun was still barely up. Uh, if there was light, it was just like orange hue, dark orange hue to it. And I was riding my skateboard. And there's just two, there were these two people I saw, like, down the road with, like, a little chihuahua dog. And, um, I rode past them, kind of, but then, but then, uh, I kept riding, but then they, they encountered me. And then, like, my board kind of slipped, slipped down under my feet. I didn't fall, but, like, I just lost my balance, so I just let go. And uh, the two people just immediately, uh, the the I think the husband, I don't know, the boyfriend of the two, he was like a skinnier guy. He was like, he was like a, he looked about like 37, but still didn't have like the energy of like a weird 37 year old dude. He just like normal 37 dude, down as luck, skinny dude. And immediately he, like, saw my board and, like, stepped on it and pushed once, but then fell. Because he never wore a skateboard before. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you trying to ride my board? Like, it just slipped under my feet. Like, you know, it's my board. And then the woman immediately, what the fuck? I have a, I got a sexy dog, but I can't have a sexy husband? What the fuck? And then, I, uh. I, what's it called? I uh, then got my board, or whatever. And then just, and then the guy said, "Hey, man, how long have you been skating?" And I said, "Uh, I don't know, about like two years, three years, not so long." And he's just like, "Oh, that's dope, man. Yeah, wow." And then the woman's just like, "Hey, can I see your board?" And then at this point, like they were getting way too close or the woman was. And I'm like, uh, nah, you're good. And then she put her hand on my board. Then she's like, come on, I just want to see it. Like, we're not going to steal it. And then, like, back then I had, like, no. Back then, I, like, I was, I was kind of a weird kid. So, like, I didn't know, like, what the right answer was because I never really had a foundation for proper social cues back then. Uh, but uh, I just stayed kind of quiet, and I said nah, no, and then just took my board from her hands and then rode away. Then I rode, I did my, my circuit around town again, I should have just went home at that point. I should have just went home. But, like, this this wasn't... It wasn't that bad back then, you know? It really wasn't. Now, if I try to ride my board through town, it'd be... Holy shit, it'd be encounter after encounter of, like... Just people trying to fuck with each other. Like, imagine how many encounters I could have now with those crackheads. Those two crackheads during the same path home. I remember I used to ride my board till like 10 p.m. too. Usually. I mean, my parents weren't really wouldn't really know about it because my dad was just watching TV all all day. My mom was watching TV all day in her room. My dad was in the living room. They would sometimes watch together, but <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. I swear to God, if you do it, I can't sleep now because there's monsters nearby. I'm going to be pissed. There we go. <sighs> I hate phantoms. But, yeah, I mean, uh, 
Um, so that happened, but then I did my circuit, and I was circling back around to, uh, what the hell? Oh. Idiot. I was circling back around to the, um, the liquor store by my house, because the bike can't do there, or whatever, at the time. So I go there. Or I was about to go in, but then I see that same couple just sitting in front of the liquor store. And... You know, I pretended to be, uh... I pretended to be nice. So I'm just like, hey, what's up, guys? Blah, blah, blah. Or no, they, they talked to me first. So... They said, hey, what's up, man? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, what's up? Keep it real. Then the guy's just like, haha, yeah, keep it real, haha. But they were sitting in front of the liquor store, like by my house at the time. And I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> like, thank God, like, I didn't escalate back then. Because then seeing them there, like, that would have just been bad news. But yeah, I mean. It's getting worse here around these areas, around this place. Well, not place, but in my city. Like, it's the only city I grew up in. So. And I know it's getting bad because I see how it was before. I've seen how it was before as a kid. The lines are getting longer, traffic's getting harsher. And it's all. <laughs> it's all kind of getting worse, really. There's a. Uh, back then, like there used to be not much traffic, uh, until like maybe during the holidays. But now there's constant traffic all the time. All the time. Even back then, like I would barely go out and drive until like eight p.m. Just get through the drive through faster or whatever, because there'd be less people out driving. But now it's uh, it's hard to avoid any type of traffic. L.A. is bleeding here. Other places probably are too. And none of it is worth much. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell to go after this. And I have two options down in my head. Even when my manager is moving. And I think I should do the same. I need to get the hell out of here. This is the only place I've known my whole life. And somewhere inside me, it's kind of hard, deep down, to leave it all behind. Everything you know, this little area. Just to leave it all behind. It's a tough, tough choice. But, yeah, I'll try. I've been feeling a lot better recently. A lot better. I talked to my dad. And I kind of told him, hey, um, I know everything that happened. And I want to hold off on saying anything just because you're the only dad I know. But it's all right. You're okay. 
It's not my place to apologize for what happened uh, to someone else, but I was told by someone else that I have to let go. Not because he has to, but because I have to. I'm trying to be better. And maybe I am finally getting to that point where it's paying off in my head. Hopefully. But right here where I'm at, where I'm at now, in my head, it's good. And even though it feels like the sea, I know it's crumbling, it doesn't really matter. Because there's more ahead. I'm taking it day by day. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I know it's going to be good. It has to. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll keep going until it does. Because recently the trend seems to be it's not going to. <laughs> but it's going to change now. I know it will. Um, I'm going to work on the song a bit more before I sleep, so I'll see you all soon again. Have a good night.